Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with some Strategic Command World War II. This is going to be a good episode because the Soviet juggernaut is ready for some payback. We had just taken Konigsberg when we had left off. We had crushed the um, Corland pocket up here and we were ready to turn the fury of the Red Army loose on the capital, the lair of the fascist, the beast. In this episode, I don't know if it'll be the first round we're in or the second round, but we need to open up a front with the Japanese because the Chinese are about to get overran. They probably only got a couple more rounds left in them, so we're going to use this opportunity to snatch up some territory in true Stalin fashion. We're going to use the near defeat of China to give Soviet Union territory. And also in true Stalin fashion, we're not actually going to help out the allies that have landed because we want more territory for ourselves. Let's go. Soviet morale is boosted by the capture of Konigsberg. Ha! The Danish resistance forms a freedom council to better organize its activities. Activities. October 8th, 1943, we just got the 4th Shock Army and the 2nd Shock Heavy Tank. Let's put the Heavy Tanks down here and we'll put a Shock Army up here. But anyways, back to the German Front. The poor, poor German Front that is completely collapsed under the ferociousness of the Red Army. Uh, I better heal him up before we attack with him. Are right, you guys ready to roll out? Oh, a Stuka goes down. It's a good day when you can take down a Stuka. We also need to try to surround Warsaw. And cut that off. Another pocket of German troops gets annihilated. Uh, keep pressing forward, comrades. Into the lair of the fascist beast we go. Do not give up. Do not give up. Do not give in. Oh. It's just completely open here. We found their generals. We found the uh, Romanian general. You know, I don't want to... You know I don't like to just use this term. You know, just throw it out there willy-nilly. But... That's going to be a godforsaken bloodbath. Uh, I think we got to go Vatutin. I think we bought all the shock armies. No, we got one more shock army to go. Production. Yeah, we got... We got mad production coming in November and December. King Michael takes Romania into the Allied camp. Romania's change of allegiance pushes Turkey away from the Axis. Shockwaves felt throughout the Axis territory. We got the 14th Army, the 5th Shock Army, and the 3rd Guard Tank. I would say we'll put the tank on our German front and we'll use the uh, regular army here. We'll throw down the shock army here. We now have two Romanian armies. Kill them up. We also need to upgrade our tanks here. 
I haven't had a chance to upgrade them lately. Nice. Boom! Danzig Falls! Oh yeah, it is so over. It is... It's so over for them. Alright, shock army. Get back to shocking. Damn, they left that open? There's no coming back. They must feel so helpless right now. The Romanians turned on them. I mean, just everything. Nothing's working for them right now. City after city after city falls. I almost forgot we got a third guard heavy tank to put down. Um, I guess we'll send him up against the tiger. So we built all our shock armies. We have built all our heavy tanks. Uh, let's go back and build all the special forces and then we'll go back and try to build all the armies. December 3rd, 1943, got another shock heavy tank that we're going to put up. We're going to just gank that tiger. Absolutely gank it. And rip the Quirlin pocket has been defeated. Yeah, this is getting bad. Should we go at him? Even before we've got him cut off? Let's see what kind of damage he does. Ouch. Alright, that's breaking his entrenchment. That got his morale down to 47. Down to 35. Does that help out? Yes! That is a lot better. We'll go for it. We got him. We got him. Boom! The tiger goes down. I would say the Katusha probably was the reason we won that. Who is this? We got Von Bach. Von Bach's on the run out of Krakow. He can't run far enough. Damn it, he got away from us. Move our Romanian bros up. Get them involved. Uh, we probably need to throw... Yeah, all these troops down here either need hills or upgrades. Well, the supplies are crap, so we couldn't heal everybody. Or even upgrade most of the people, but... We did get a few. Like, they moved a garrison up here like that's gonna stop us. It's time. I think we're ready. Let's go ahead and declare our war with Japan. See how far we can get... Oh! Uh, Alright, they got some garrisons defending. This should, even if we don't go very far the first couple rounds, like, it's still going to help out our, the Chinese bros. Let's go ahead and upgrade our production technology. Make our purchases a bit cheaper. And start buying armies again. The first red banner, that sounds badass. Clandestine Slovak National Council formed favoring reincorporation into Czechoslovakia. Oh, uh, Albania surrendered. I didn't even see that happen. 
Six shock army. We got Vatutin and another guards heavy tank. It looks like they're going to stick with garrison units. Yeah, that's all they got defending. Garrison units except for this one core down here. Well, we will just bypass you and see what the cavalry can do. Oh yeah, that's right. Cavalry sucks. I, I should have remembered that. So yeah, let's give... Let's give them a shock army. Yeah, they surrendered. The Germans are back on the Greek front again. We know how well that went for them last time. I got a lot of troops up here. That needs some hills on them. Alright, the bros are healed and check it out. They are now surrounded, except I can't get anybody to there, so we'll probably just cut that back off. I didn't think that through. Damn, that guy there is embedded. Even the garrison units are putting up a fight. Even the cavalry's doing damage. The Romanian first attack. Not bad. Yeah, we need some. We got a few holes we're gonna have to plug up with those armies we just built. Damn, they almost got the entirety of the UK covered in forces. Oof. But still can't defeat the Germans right here. Alright, so we had Vatutin. Should we actually throw Vatutin over here? I guess these bros do need a general. And we'll throw our uh, other heavy down here. And because we had such a huge healing and upgrade spree, we have no money left for anything this round. So that is what the front is looking like now. Soviets within striking distance of Sofia, outside of Belgrade, outside of Budapest, uh, took Krakow, outside of Warsaw. Warsaw is about to be cut off, actually. And a Japanese enemy thrown garrisons against shock armies. Pro-Czech Slavic National Council launches an uprising in Slovakia. They did it. French partisans liberate Corsica. Oh, the news just keeps getting worse. Got a 10th army and the first guards heavy tank. Let's see what the Japanese did in response here. It looks like they did move in a special forces and another corps down here. So, in response, let's give them uh, the 10th Army backup. And the first guard's heavy tank. Why not? Let's put it in here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Back on the German front. And they're held up and they're pretty good. Okay, how is that possible? How are you going to be doing no damage? Alright, Romanians. How are you against, um, Bulgarians? Apparently not very good. How are you against List? Nice hit. We have made contact with the Yugoslavian partisans. Big moves being made. And we got Clutcher down here. Oh, a rocket. I never even made one of those in my German playthrough. Nice. I'm impressed. It looks like the Germans are attempting to form a defense around Budapest. Shh. 
should be easily broken, except we can't even dislodge a garrison with a tank unit, so I don't know, maybe not. Made contact with the Slovak National Corps. Damn, they are putting up a defense. Okay, they got another tiger. We should probably work on taking... We need the Katusha moved up so we can hit Warsaw with it. Yeah, we're just not getting... We're not getting any good hits right now. Alright, Japanese front. Shock army. Why can you not break a garrison? Maybe the shock army wasn't the right unit to pull up against garrisons. I probably should have... I probably should have spammed armies. Alright, back to purchases. We still need another HQ for right in here. Let's grab Koniv. We got all special forces now. I guess it's just an army spam. Japanese morale suffers from the loss of Peleliu. French partisans rise in Masov Central. Uh oh. February 25th, 1944. We got the third special forces and we got the Fifth Guards Heavy Tank. These will definitely go on the Japanese front. Let's see what we got here. Call in the heavies. Okay. My garrisons. If I had a garrison and they were going up against a heavy tank... First of all, they wouldn't have survived. Second of all, they damn sure would have never done damage. I've never seen... I've never seen that happen when I had a garrison. My garrisons couldn't even go up against cores. These garrisons are going up against heavy tanks and shock armies. I'm so confused. Vatutin! Train your bros better! We will put them up here. How about with... We need armies, I think, is what we need out here. We need more armies. Break them! Or not. Either way. Either way. Don't worry about it. Alright, so I'm I'm noticing something here. Our troops were doing really well. For quite some time and now they just suck. It's it's like fighting with them uh when we we're attacking at the very first. And the Germans were just wrecking us. I feel like that again. You got a level 3 tank going up against cavalry. And not absolutely stomping him. You know something's wrong. You know something very strange is going on.
Oh, we almost lost a unit up there. An army almost went down. Bruh, come on. Yeah, see, some strange shit's going on. We got the tiger up here. Of course. Get a lucky hit. No lucky hit. We can actually get some damage in on Warsaw, though. Break that entrenchment. There we go. Got it. Got it. Well, let's go ahead and make our purchases. Second guards. Second red banner. All right, bros, with that, February 25th, 1944, when we come back, I'm pretty sure we're going to get to see some D-Day action. Uh, and the German line continues to dissolve, except they've decided to make their stand in the Balkans for some reason. And the Japanese front, they're holding out against heavy tanks, shock troops, and armies with garrisons, if that makes sense to you, because it doesn't to me. But Rose, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Stop like and subscribe with the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Bruminati, out.